Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We continue in the Don't Eat the Soap series. This one is going to be my Apples and Pumpkin. And that was the pumpkin uh, fragrance oil. That's an apple pie fragrance oil. And then I also added in a honey apple fragrance oil. And if you've ever had a honey crisp apple, that's what that last one smelled like. The other one was traditional um, apple pie. And the pumpkin pecan one smells like pecan waffles. Delicious combination together. The soap is wonderful. And here I'm just mixing the lye in with the oils to get it to emulsification. And then I'm adding in the milks, which will give you that creaminess to your soap and extra conditioning to your skin. So you won't need very much lotion once you rinse this soap off. It is very, very skin loving, as I stated in the intro videos and probably in the other soap videos if you have watched those already. And then we're just getting into emulsification. That's where the oils and the lye uh, solution has blended together. This is the fragrance combination that I'm about to put in now. I believe that one was uh, just some more of the milks and the clay. The first one probably was the super fat, which is the oils that or butters that are left behind after saponification that you feel on your skin after rinsing. And just blending it a little bit more to get it together. Right there, I just zeroed out the scale because I'm separating out the batch. That first is Orange Vibrance Mica from Nurture Soap, and it is for the pumpkin half of the soap the pumpkin color and then the next one up is the red vi uh, really red mica from nurtures also and that is for the apple color of the soap and just separating it off and then the last portion of the batch i will not separate that off or add a color to it because the fragrance oil that i'm going to add into this colors the soap to a very very dark brown color as you probably saw in the intro video, the final bar was very, very dark because at the end of this video, in the photos, the bars of soap still have a relatively light beige or tan color to them. Okay, this is the last mixing of the base part of it, and that's the fragrance oil going in that portion. And just blend it in a little bit. And this fragrance smells absolutely beautiful it smells like holiday i think i named this soap uh fall harvest i think that's what i named this one apples and pumpkin but i think i call it fall harvest because we harvest apples and we harvest pumpkins <laughs> okay so i'm just getting ready about to pour this over into the mold guys and i truly do hope you visit the etsy shop to check out some of these soaps and some of the products that i have for the holiday season, I do believe these will be wonderful gifts, unique gifts to give to a loved one or just a colleague at work or something like that. And then I didn't do an intricate design in this one, as you'll see coming up. I just basically poured it into the mold on the first part. And this fragrance did cause the base to set pretty fast, even though right here it looks very fluid. And it was. But by the time I got ready to add the others on top of it, you can see right here that the orange isn't really sinking through as I had hoped that it would be a drop swirl. But we figured that out in just a minute. Same thing with the red. The red goes a little bit further in. It's all on top. I didn't do a design on top. So right here is how I'm breaking it up to get a swirl into this soap. I took the back end of a spoon and just literally spun it inside of the soap. And you can see the thicker soap coming up to the top. See how it's chunky? That means the base part of this was already set. And then off, uh, off to the side, once this had blended a little bit, I scraped off the spoon, and then I also tapped down the mold in order to get some of the bubbles out of it that might came, come along from spinning that spoon inside of there. And then I put the rest of the soap batter that I had on top and just did a, like a little mounting effect of it so that I can put the end beds in. And you'll see that in just a moment. Apologize for the angle that you're not seeing it. Okay. Just scraping off the soap spoons. Get as much of your soap batter as you possibly can. We don't want to waste any of it. And then I just textured the top just a little bit 
with that plastic spoon in order to give it like a little bit of a peak to it in order to put the embeds on. So here comes the embeds guys and there are two different embeds. One will be on each side of the soap. One is an apple and one is a pumpkin. Hence the name of this video and this soap, Apples and Pumpkins. Mm -hmm. And those are made out of melt and pour soap so that uh, the entire bar will dissolve in your, so in your shower as you're using is all soap. That is 91% alcohol to discourage soda ash, even though this particular soap the embeds developed soda, soda ash and I had to end up steaming them a little bit and then wiping them with a paper towel before I actually wrapped the soap up. Now my other loaves of soap with the embeds did not get any soda ash whatsoever. So I don't know what was special about these particular embeds. Maybe it was humid in the house and I just wasn't paying attention on that particular day. Because I did make all of these soaps guys back in September in order for them to be cured and wrapped and ready, set, go for the holiday season. Okay, and then I'm going to speed this up in a minute because you don't need to watch me put in every last one of these little embeds. It is a tedious and a little time consuming. So here we go. And this is just the speed motion of this. And one, two, three, four, five. Voila, the embeds are done. A little bit more rubbing alcohol to discourage the soda ash, which it didn't work, of course. And I'm going to pick it up so you can see it a little bit closer up. That is apples and pumpkins. It just looks absolutely beautiful. I actually love how this one turns out. All right, here comes the okay, cup, guys. Okay, I am absolutely loving this one already. Let me turn it around so you can see it a little bit. Look at the color. Now, that should probably darken a little bit more to a brown as the soap cures. But let's see what it looks like in the cut. <clears throat> cut an edge piece off. my little piece to play with. Okay, make sure I don't cut the embeds. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's see what we got. Ooh, look at that. Apples and pumpkins. All right, one more cut, guys. That came out great. Yes, yes, that is wonderful, yes. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the photos at the end.